Daigo is always really, really good in long sets. That's where he shines. I feel like I've always had a really big chance when it's two out of three. So this is gonna be a rematch basically from Topanga. He beat me with 7-3. So I'm planning to take my revenge. I don't wanna say revenge, but you know, just to make it cool. So this so he ran into PR Rog at Capcom Cup and lost, as we all know. And even since then, he hasn't really put much time into learning the boxer matchup. So if PR Rog does uh, make it into the Master Series, he's going to be a very dangerous one. Capcom Cup, the crowd was just so amazing. I feel like I'm a really... I'm a player that reacts to the crowd. If the crowd likes me and they're they're like really loud at me, I will probably do really, really good. From my side, if someone boos me, I'll probably get upset. So we'll see. You know, maybe I can sneak up some two or three other ref focuses. Well you gotta expect that Daigo will be ready for red focuses. <laughs> that in particular I would imagine, but yeah, interesting that Pierre Balrog also uh, exposing the, the secret strength and weakness of the heart-driven player is, uh, yeah, that crowd feeling, like you can really get into it. And this is a guy that coasts on waves of emotion, Over. strength. Oh, his hair looks a little off, I'll say, as a tight analysis of this, the back of his hair. Definitely off-kilter. It's not a good look for him, for somebody who's uh, so invested in his personal Let's grooming. Let's get started! Fight! I think it's an interesting note also that Daigo mentioned that he did not really prepare for the Balrog matchup and has not put any work into it since. He's a character that's been largely abandoned by Japan. I oh, yeah. So he has no consider, he's not worried about it uh, while he's over there. And there's, outside of pure Balrog, not a ton of action on the Balrog front. He's got some on the East Coast as well. Very cool. Yeah, he's a rare character, absolutely. It's very strange, you know, considering how it was at the start of Street Fighter IV's life, but now it's really just yeah. a couple. Really just uh, America, because he's got such a rad costume. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> American flag costume. <laughs> oh, he oh, got the couple and a non-red, but misses it. Usually Daigo will react. Oh, okay. is that going to do it? No. Oh, another. Okay, so there were a couple of drops from PR Rog in that round. A little bit of shakiness, but it's also some pretty uh, impressive stuff. Blowing through smart fireball with an ultra, but again... Game one, Daigo, you can't ever really peg exactly what's going to stick. Okay, interesting setup. I like how PR Rog is willing to be so close to people as they wake up. A lot of people will back off just a little bit, that they can't get thrown or something like that, but he is right there. Yeah, I know. And that's, that's what makes him such a top player, is like, you can't have that fear. He's got the advantage. He's got to press it. Interesting. EX low. Nice whip punish again. A couple of those in this round. Oh! That's time. And that's what that EX low was setting up, I believe. You see the EX flash, thinking about low. Guess what? Surprise overhead. And, yeah. Oh, he tried to get... Yeah, he, that was mm. PR Rog looking to block the cross up jump medium kick. Instead, Daigo switched it up with dive kick from the front. Very smart. And that is a tough one, because he was in not just contention, but that first round I felt like he had. Yeah. And that round was very close as well. But Daigo coming out on top both times to take game one. Oh, and there's that pressure. Caught him out of the air, so Pierre Balrog is able to turn it around. Great recognition from, from Daigo when that di that dash punch is unsafe. Yeah. You know, it can it can be punished by DPs, but only if it's close enough. Very specific ranges, yeah. Yeah. Good challenge out of the air, even though he lost the damage trade by a significant margin. Oh, oh. Oh, that could have been more damage there. Although, bit, probably not for the kill. Nah, I wonder who am I kidding? That's you. Oh, you. Probably would have killed. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> I'm always a little confused when I see Daigo throwing, or anybody throwing fireballs from that far away. Because that's sort of just giving the opponent an entrance. You know, the opponent can jump over that and gain half screen. I think he's inviting something, I'm not sure what, and maybe trying to bait out so he can do the focus. You see, just he'd and let follow it in. PR yeah. Rog in. Yeah. Maybe test it. That's, Ooh, that's yeah. exactly what I was predicting. He was, and he burned them both. That was absolutely what he was going oh! for. Oh! Rock finds it, drops it! Oh, this is 
PR up, still threatening now. Max range for dash punch. Anything will do it for Daigo. Chip damage, hits, whatever. Fireball, hurricane kick. Oh! Ooh, Daigo, oh, he got the low! Good stuff. High attention. What a round right there from PR Rock. What a recovery. And he and he got Daigo to whiff or to, to waste his full super too. It's true, because he was that committed to that strategy to try and close out that round. It yeah. didn't happen. Big loss for Evil. But look at that. Uh, you know, he gets he gets the hard knockdown. Oh, oh wow. Hey. I had written that off as like, <laughs> no no, that won't work. PR Balrog. He knows. A little bit of hit pause there, saving Daigo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. got the anti-air now, chance for Daigo. No, just fireball. Here, Balrog hanging tough. Balrog really wants to focus a couple more fireballs. He's just a couple away from getting that ultra. Oh, one more. Not quite there. I think there it is. Daigo might be wise to his strategy. It's too late now. Ooh, oh, no, hit. that's punishable. Oh, didn't quite get it. Yeah. Great, Daigo getting away. Gets to set things up again. Smart timing on that, too. Now the question is, oh, that Ooh, big opportunity. I was this just going to say, no drop. can PR Rog steal another round? And that's exactly what he did. And I felt like Daigo semi-stole both of those first rounds, and both of the rounds in the first game. Yeah, fair enough. PR Rog answering back. Some Just 1-1. One, one. It's early. It's early. We've seen Daigo go down quite a bit in uh, the set against Peppa Dai and still come back. Yeah. Uh, this is a guy you don't have to worry about in the mental strength department uh, yeah. in terms of like the giving up that Shen was talking about earlier. Ooh, tricky cross. Wow, nice. Great spacing on that fireball. Just outside of sweep. Sets up that, da that dash in for, excuse me, just the dance in. The throws, willing to go for it again. Not pushed off the beast. And will he complete? Yes. PR Balrog, looking pretty sharp. Lands two throws in a row to set up that hit opportunity and finds it. I'm always impressed at his ability to create throws and counter hits. That's that's how it works. They're they're intimately related. Mm -hmm. And you know, getting thrown once is not fun. Getting thrown twice, you feel bad. Nobody likes to get thrown three times. So then the uh, yeah, that internal worry meter is maxing out. If you don't want to get uh, thrown again, that means counter hit. A little harassment. Oh, nice whiff punish. Wow. And taking that's, the opportunity uh, to build a bit of meter before stealing it. I'm uh, running my mouth about the glories of PR Balrog. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dago <laughs> lands basically a complete perfect. Right, yeah, uh, great round for him. <coughs> okay. Maybe no charge yet. Yeah. I like the splitsy game these guys are playing. Okay, a little drop. Oh! oh! That footsie tool is uh, was such a difference maker in rounds past. I, I think Daigo's the first Evil Ryu that I've seen really do that a lot. Well, we were talking earlier on the stream. Uh, we were trying to give credit to uh, Mr. Naps, Jimmy Tran. Okay, and fair Norcal enough. Yeah. Wow, you got the stun the on that. Wow. But that really opens up a lot of stuff for Evil Ryu. It makes, it makes that range where he's already pretty solid at Crouching Medium Kick Fireball range even, even stronger. Much more than. dangerous, yeah. And you gives him another legitimate outlet for the meter. And frankly, you get, I think, probably more damage than you would out of two FADC combos. Depending on the FADC combo, of course. But that damage is very it just, healthy. It really opens super. things up. You know, it just really opens up control of that spot. Wow. Nice. So solid here in the opening round. Perfect spacing on the low forwards. Finally smells Rog wanted to get out and had the focus waiting. Ooh, is he going to get out? No. Little late on the axe kick. Yep, doesn't connect. Oh. Poke, 
counter poke. Let's keep it up! Fight! <laughs> Balrog, what is he trying to create here? The big standing roundhouse, here we go. Oh, ooh, one a little too far with that ass crouching jab. But great position, great control. And Daigo learning to find that fireball from a surprising distance. And announcing, screaming fireball, like just over and over again. Daring PR Rock to find a solution, and he does. That stand medium kick really is, is good there. That, yeah. That's exactly the range where uh, where demon will work, where toward medium kick demon will work. It's terrifying. Oh, nice. Yeah, and so if you're if you're getting harassed by that stand medium kick enough, you don't want to press buttons. No, nope. no, then you'll get grabbed. Yeah, counter hits everything, and that corner is yeah, it's just so nasty because you're not getting pushed back by it. You can just do them one after the other. That's it, Umahara. Where he sort of uh, from planet Earth anyway would really need this round. Stay in it and not go down 3-1. Here Balrog wakes up with the jabs, connects, and he's going to extend it. Still no dizzy. really like how he ends with the opponent still standing there. I just think yeah. that's so cool. With an immediate mix-up. Yeah, you get no, not only, yeah, you don't get the time. Oh! Let the whole thing go. It's not a red focus, but regular one works just fine if you hold it. Look at Pierre Balrog's face. That's the face of the hunting animal. I'm on the hunt. Meanwhile, Daigo looking exactly as he would if he had won that round. <laughs> He's got some bed head. Uh, mm, carry the one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I really... This is... Pierre Balrog, uh, when he plays with this kind of style and this kind of guts, and even... Dare I say bravado? He, he he transforms into easily one of my very favorite players in the entire world to watch. So up against an opponent no less than Daigo Umahara, who's a strong lead here at the Master Series so far, couldn't ask for anything more to close out the night. That's so cool because you know Balrog as a character doesn't have that many offensive options. He's not he's not that tricky. No, uh, he he's tricky. Just, he ain't. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's just sort of a mid rangey pokey character. Um, not super exciting, but whenever I watch PR Rog, it just really. it feels like he's yeah. always doing cool things. There's a world of possibility, and every time I pick up the stick with this character, I'm like, uh, I don't know, walk forward jab. Into, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Press uh, throw, roundhouse, little little roundhouse. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, he's a creative genius with this character, and very cool to see him representing around the world, even the, most of Europe and outside of a few other Americans uh, kind of giving up on the character. There's that little range. Oh, okay. Oh, didn't see it, I guess. No FADC. Or maybe he's trying to set up another demon to try and close it out. But probably he just didn't see the FADC. I like that Rock will just hold charge at about that range. That's the range. Oh, does he get it? No. Oh. That, but that's the range where you can react with uh, with Ultra or, or with Dash Ultra. And I feel like that's been a big part of convincing Daigo to not zone in the same way. You see that Dash oh, Ward right yeah. there? That might have been Dash Ultra uh, or as a threat. But the only thing I worry about is that, because that feels so good as a Balrog player, is he looking forward too much? Oh, oh, he tried the red focus. That's the counter to that. Really? Get the throw. Here, Balrog of 3 1 in position to be potentially 4 1. Yeah. And playing really fantastically so far. And very smart for him to just back out of that range. Yeah. Or no. when, he's, when he's in that range, when he's in demon range, he, he's pressing buttons, which is something that other people haven't been doing quite as much. He's either not in that range or he's active in it. Yeah. I'm not making it easy for Daigo. Oh, oh what, a, what a response. What a response. But it just brings us even, and there's the full meter. But now he has that corner position, too. Managed to catch out Rog in an ill-timed rush punch. And it's acting like the bully. Okay. Does that mean... Oh, okay. we got him. I think with such low health, yeah, I think got to have him. Yeah. yeah. That would have worked if there had been a backdash, too. Just a really good, really good option. And that's 4-1. Only three to go for PR Rog. Quite an uphill battle for Daigo. Like uh, 
The awareness is, is, his eyes are opening just a little wider. Oh, this is the second time that that Daigo's been in this exact same round position. He was down 4-1 to one against Pepidai, and then, of course, true. ultimately came back and won and turned it around. That's a match, yeah. A lot of different characteristics here, and we'll see. Yeah, I feel like part of that was Pepidai kind of melting a little bit. Yeah, there was, uh, there was some elements of that, at yeah. least in certain rounds. Yeah, yeah. And I think Pierre Balrog is less that kind of player. I agree. Um, yeah, it's not as streaky, it's not as tricksy. Yeah, and, and you know, Pepe sometimes will get hurried on his own wake up and gets counter hit and stuff like that. That's pretty rare for PR Rog. Oh, man. oh, very nice. Yeah. Nice. So Focus on those grabs, yeah. I think it's so important for movement, of course, but also important to get the ultra going. And yeah, see, ooh! Shout out to Super Turbo Combos. Oh, yeah. I love that idea. Well, okay, he ends up getting a stun anyway. The dizzy. He might be able to close it. a big combo. He can, yes, and does. Great completion. That's Some of those combos are so difficult. But yeah. The EX extensions. Looking for something. Smelling potential backdash. Like I said, you think of, of Balrog as mostly a mid-rangey pokey character, but he does have those damaging combos. Yeah, that's that's a thing. It's been a thing forever. Yeah. But you just don't see it terribly often outside of PR Balrog. Yeah. go off to a very strong start here. Okay, PR Balrog with an opportunity. Saves Ultra. But no fireballs from the happy range that yeah. PR Balrog would like to see it from. He's just going to throw him that jab and say, look, don't you want to ultra? And then just, that's what I was going to say, is when you see these kind of setups, it actually gets almost more interesting with Daigo because, nice. wow, it was all over it. Waited not, for the dash. Not fooled by any shenanigans. Yeah. I'll say because, uh, yeah, Daigo is smart enough to know not to throw fireballs at that range, but then just when you are, when it's clear to you that he knows not to throw it, then he'll throw one because he's like, yeah, right. He doesn't like to be told what to do. Oh. oh, perfect. We saw almost this exact same round opening uh, in one of Daigo's earlier strong matches in this set. Finds the jabs. Good completion just in time to get that charge. Good counter throw. Yeah, stand thrown out of the roundhouse counter hit attempt. Oh, I think so. Yes, and it didn't disconnect. It's one of the buffs that he got. Yeah. What? I don't know, man. He dropped it, but he still can't throw. And we, then we saw that with Snake Eyes earlier, where it looked like they were standing and then like ducked into the yeah, yeah, overhead. Yeah. Where I think I, I don't know when you see that ex, maybe you think it's it's the low one. Yeah, and I mean Pyrog has been throwing in, he threw in. Uh, it wasn't followed by an overhead, but another low ex rush just to get you think like when you see ex flash, think low. Oh, love that crouching jab. Demon, such a threat right now. There's been so many different situations. He got it! Pierre Balrog. Oh no. And that is answered again. Drop the combo. Wow. It's a gutsy walk. Yeah. Obviously, Dago didn't even see it coming either. Clean sweep. Good challenge from Dago. Ooh, oh, super! Yeah. The move that only ever says super. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, now in danger. And will that mean the overhead again? He's out of position. He no longer has super, but does have the ultra, of course. Dago. Oh! Oh! Chip out! Oh! He got it! And Dago wanted to close that position to try and chip him out himself. That was a very important game because that was the game in the set against Pepidai that Daigo won and then everything turned around. Turned around. Because now we're in a 5-2 situation. This is a big one. Even in the game count, it's a big one. It's a big one. And Pierre Bauer, I, I, yeah, I love that. That's 
you know you're not going to get any crazy counter hit setups this early into the match. Just get it done with two throws. The old jab, jab, throw. Make it happen in the old school way. Nice swap forward by Taigo. Got into the exact anti air range he needed. Getting his distance back. Okay, okay very good stuff. And he makes it count. Whoa. Oh, wow. and the dizzy? Very smart. Not spending any meter. And now he has exactly what he wants. Oh! And Daigo coming alive here a little bit with who made sure use, but yep, here it is again. Wow. See that Dragon Punch and then hold on to the focus there just to react? This is good confirmed. Yeah, this is very, very strong round by Daigo. Very Daigo ish rounds here. Yeah. I feel like he's playing a lot more offense in this game. Yes. Much and more active. This is, this is the kind of adjustment that Daigo can make that makes him so dangerous, where he ch changes from a relatively passive style to just sort of turn it up. So if you yourself have gone to sleep or over-invested in one view of him as a player, right. you can get blown up pretty quick. Yeah, look at this. He did that. Did he do that before this game at all? Did he do Dragon Punch FADC at all? I don't remember all? it. I don't, I don't remember it either. And yet, in this game, he's had it a couple of times. He's waiting for something here. Play clean. Oh, nice. There it is. Gets him to overcommit a little bit and a very strong game eight. What puts, an adjustment. Puts Daigo at 3 5. So, still significant deficit. Victory is just two games away from PR Balrog. Well, but Eduardo's going to have to recognize that change in uh, style if Daigo keeps it. Yeah, and I don't like that jump in. The jump in was sort of unearned. Daigo is all over it. That's one of the signatures. Yeah, look at this. He does not let anybody jump in for free. Oh, interesting. Counter to the counter. I kind of like that. PR Balrog making a nice adjustment there, smelling out those focus attacks from Dago and landing the turn punch. Will he cash it? Yes. That for damage. Doesn't need to throw the fireball threat at this point. Mahara just walks his way out of the corner, but eats one to the face, and now is in chip damage, Ooh. and that is it with the counter hit. So PRog did put Daigo back on his heels there after yes. Daigo in the previous game, and early part of that round was playing very active again. And that is absolutely why I love not just Pierre Balrog as a player, but watching these two in particular compete, because Daigo can turn up the volume on his own play that way, but Pierre Balrog's the kind of guy that does not get sort of drowned out by anybody that way. Oh, nice! Look at this, more offense. Walking forward more, jumping more, dragon punching more. And wow. it paid off. Dizzy from there. Certainly over, yes. Maximizing the number of special moves for max meter build. Very clean. And here, Balrog really has oh. to block this round and finds it. Will he complete? Look at this! Goes all the way in! Which one of these characters <laughs> is, the, is at the end there? Which one's the damage first character? Yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just think about this game wrong. Yeah, sometimes. maybe so. <laughs> oh, wow. That could have gone either way. Dago on it. Oh! Silencing the EX Hurricane. Okay. Very lucky for Rog. I don't think this is going to be enough. Good position. Being up 6-3 would be so good. Wow, and he got the chip this again. time. If you recall, there was a round against Shaohai where he made that bet and it didn't work. Right. And he's been correct with it each time didn't in this set against Daigo. Yeah, both rounds. Chip out in exactly the same position. And look, I love that. The hungry eyes. He's been very cold this weekend. And it's pretty cold outside. I, in I, here, though? I don't know. No, not, I, I, I will say he's over. Like, we came in from the airport together, and he yeah. claimed he had to immediately run into the hotel and could not pose outside for a picture. Somebody asked for a picture, and he wanted to pose. He's like, I can't stay outside for more than 10 seconds. I'll die. Yeah, <laughs> and wasn't joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He comes from a pretty warm climate. Okay. Let's see if he can create off this. Dagger just pushing him away with his two double steer forward. Oh, sees it. Wow. Great grab. He got the extended range. Daigo poking his way out, and he is in trouble here. Oh, Daigo now cornered. Can't throw a fireball. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what Balrog wants. Situation. Yeah, perfect spacing to react. But also... Yeah, you can't imagine Daigo's going to hand that to you as the one easy way back into the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Pierre Balrog also doesn't want to blow all of his meter in this situation. Let's bring it into round three. A potential round three, even if he loses here. Recognize that he might have been unsafe on that range. Oh, wow. Yeah. Unsafe that range, too. And that's one of those tricky ones where you don't want to spend the meter initially because you don't want to overinvest in this round, and then you start to get a little bit of a comeback, and then you spend the meter. And yeah. I don't know. It's, it's very easy to think, overthink meter situations sometimes. Oh, a little out of range. Pierre Balrog trying to get out. Oh, oh dropped. Would have been a tasty knockdown. Well, Tycho's not really using the same kind of rush offense that he was playing in a no. game a couple of couple yeah. games ago. Right, like the, the oh the old Tycho from like three minutes ago. Yeah, right. it's a completely different player right now. Yeah. So difficult to adjust to. Pierre Balrog forced to burn the meter again to save himself on a slightly off rush. Oh, oh double dash? I don't know. And went uncontested. Daigo comes out ahead on that one. Daigo's looking good right now. Very clean. He has to be. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at him just waiting, waiting, waiting. Hoping that there's a jump from PR Rog or something he can react to. Yeah. What are you going to give me? PR Rog's not doing is, it. This is just cool, man. I just like the confidence from both sides. Like, you can just see it. It's like a shiny oh, he didn't die yet. Chest. He didn't die. Has another chance. He can't can't up. get hit by anything. Now, yeah, you think Dago is going in for a chip out there. Which can be, yeah. itself be a kind of over. Oh, look. Now he's just saying, I'm going to build some meter. Don't you want to commit? You going to let me build this meter? Ooh, man. 19 seconds left. Daigo looks like he's very comfortable to just wait, yeah. and he he made the right choice. It's like, I don't want to brag about being in the lead or anything, but look, I'm in the lead. You're going to be the one that has to make moves here. Pretty confident round. 6-4, so obviously not out of range for the Beast. But Pierre Balrog in great shape. Nice. First time we've seen that, I think. Answers back, and answers back to the answer. Saves Ultra. Yeah. The low rush. What can that mean for the future? We'll see. I really like that he maintains oh. that mix-up. Oh, he doesn't oh, get the kill! No. Ooh. That was it on a plate. Daigo knows he got away with one. Pierre Balrog correctly anticipating the uppercut, but not able to punish. And now overextending. Okay, closes it out. He needed that round. That would have been a major mental break. Could have been a shift in the dynamics of the whole match. Well, it's match point now for PR Rog. He's the first person to get to this situation against Daigo, who is undefeated so far. Daigo with a great response to start out this round. Oh, didn't quite get the punish on the throw. Oh, really? Sweep, sweep. No. Oh, that's such a cool move. Nice, he sees it. Gonna have the corner. carry. And then chip out danger, yeah, and just silenced. It's that, such a, it's a weird one. Don't think about it too much. Okay, <laughs> it'll just hurt your brain. <laughs> yeah, like that's all I can advise. Wake up, overhead punch. Low the one. We weren't expecting it. No, you that's true. That. Yeah, absolutely right. The same things that get you called genius in certain conditions are the things that. Uh, Get you mocked in other conditions. Dang. Oh! Ooh, anything, anything, it. yeah, anything will stun. Anything will stun. Very Balrog. bad situation right now for Daigo. Super oh! Pressure. What a clutch throw! And the corner position reverse. Pierre Balrog fighting his way back with the jabs. Daigo willing to concede the position. Wow. Well, he needed to get away. Next hit was stun, and he just managed to avoid it. Amazing defense. He's got his super queued up, but is not yet in the kill zone. Oh, and Balrog just walking up very boldly. Oh, oh, hold on! Daigo, chance! Doesn't spend the meter. Where's the- Oh! Did it caught him! Very nice! He stays alive! Oh, PR Balrog knows he had it. He knows he had the time to escape. He didn't jump. He backdashed the demon. He continued. just had the wrong read. Chased him into it. Let's get started! Fight! Wow. 6-5. Still. Daigo's still Balrog. battling. Yeah. And who can we complain? We gotta be happy we get to see more Epic Street Fighter as the stakes continue to climb here. The Canada Cup Master Series. Double 
forward, just landing into everything. Finds the crumple. Yeah, and Ooh, take really? it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Scaling not too bad. It's only a third hit. Keeps that corner. Oh, oh, not safe at all. Yeah. Getting scrambly. Pierre Balrog does oh, it. He just wants it. Yes, Steigl converts. Slight overreach. You can see Pierre Balrog really wanted to go in with the rushes. He had announced his intention to try and chip him out. Pierre Balrog shaking his head, can feeling the momentum shift a little bit, and that can be very dangerous in this situation. He has to keep his spirits high and his confidence there. His play is still there, just a little bit over commitment there to the chip out kill, which is the death of many a great player. That girl fights so confidently from the corner. Yeah, very Com impressive. Confidence characterizes almost everything about him. Like yeah. it's just very hard to shake him. There's that super. Oh, he got him again. And that's not quite death, but very close. Can he put it even? Good block. Oh, yeah. I, I love the jump. Love the jump. And just like that, that was a very quick couple of games. Can Umahara do this again after the heartbreaker from Pepe Bay? Can he now crush the North American hope of PR Balrog? Yeah, the last chance qualifier, PR Balrog. That's it's how true. He got it's here. true. Nobody invited me. I earned my way That's in here. That's right. In this door. Just walked on. 6-6. Six, six. Man, after being down 5-2. Last Daigo, we said you can never count him out. Yeah. That's for sure. Every Already proves it against Pepidai. Oh, running into those fireballs. Frustration meter building here for PR Balrog. Can't find quite the right spacing. Forced to tech there with a frame, negative frame. Nice anti-air. Very specific, but nice. Dago just completely content to hang back, and now it is match point. Oh, I don't like the expression on Eduardo's face right Dago now. Dago Omahara, and again, the streakiness of the heart-driven player. He's feeling down. Let's see if he can get back in this. Okay, finds the crumple. That could be what he needs to lift those spirits. No meter. To deal the damage. Okay. Ah, all right. Finding a way to create. Oh, more of an opportunity, but still got something. And now Daigo trying to get around. And here he comes. This is real big from Daigo now. He's a mix up away from potentially getting stunned. Okay. Oh, there, oh, it, there is! it is! And it's going to be the red focus That's in return. That's probably going to do it, and it does! What a comeback oh. from Daigo Umehara. He was down. Two to five, and he comes back and wins it seven to six. What an oh. end to that set. And the poetic justice of the red focus combo to close it oh, out. Oh wow! I don't want to. I don't want to hang that uh, responsibility on him, but uh, something to be said for that. Wow, we saw some really incredible matches from PR Balrog. I thought it was yeah, really well played. But oh yeah, Daigo, yeah. completely unflappable. He's throughout. undefeated. He still yeah. is. It looked like in this set and against Pepe Dai, a couple of times in just the last few hours that it looked like he was going to go down. Re it really did. Yeah. And he just managed to, to change things up. Remember that uh, he started to come back in this set by playing very offensively all of a sudden. Yeah. And very then, offensively. And, th and then he went back he to the previous back, yeah. style. But yeah, I think he really kind of instilled in PR Rog a lack of certainty about what his options were going to be. Yeah, and it completely shut down things we saw early again. Like, And we even called this out at the time saying, like, you know, he was able to ultra through the fireball. I was like, Hey, don't bet on that. Daigo is, you know, that might be just learning information for him mm. and uh, a setup that's going to come exactly one time. But uh, I think we're about ready to uh, have a chat with the heartbreaker. <laughs> Mad Cats, Daigo Amhara. Let's throw it over to Mike Ross. All right. I'm joined here right now by Daigo, the champion of that match. Congratulations. You were down quite a bit of games. What kind of adjustments did you make in order to be the victor in this battle? あの、結構スコール、スコールではまけてるけど、あの、結局は勝ったので、どうやってあの、あの、何の調節してましたか。えそうですね。難しいけど、なんか一つずつそのか彼のそのパターンというか癖をこう覚えながらやっててで後半それがうまくあのその癖をつけたかなという感じですね。Uh, he 
he, in the end, figured out his pattern. So that's how. Obviously, he's not going to share with us what that pattern is. That's obviously secret tech. You did very well today. You went undefeated, if I'm not mistaken. I, got, you got, got one fan out there. How do you feel going into your performance for tomorrow? あした、明日ルフィさんの対戦あのと思ってますか。そうですね。あのロード戦もかなりやってきたんですけど、ま、彼がちょっとハードスケジュールなので、え、なんですかね。ま、彼がと本調子の彼と戦えたらいいなと思